Hey, what's up, my friends? Nick Arapkalis here, and I wanted to make a, another video. Obviously, we're making daily uploads on this channel, but I wanted to come to you in a little di bit different angle here, or a little different setting. I always want to try and mix things up and not keep things too consistent. I think there's a lot of YouTubers out there that simply just make the same exact videos over and over and over again. And I think there is value to that, but I also think there is a lot of value to mixing things up, keeping things a little bit different and changing the pace of things so we just remain balanced. So I'm gonna make a video on my phone, which I have not really ever done on my YouTube channel and some of my courses and stuff, you know, um, actually in one of the specific courses that we have for my Instagram growth agency, I do a lot of my videos on here on the on the on the phone because we're obviously talking a lot about Instagram. So on this video, we're talking about Instagram as well and how to more in fact get 10,000 followers on Instagram. So I want to talk a little bit more about that. And basically, I'm going to kind of turn this into a series or a show, I don't, maybe not show, but more of a, like a YouTube series, a YouTube playlist of how to get 10,000 followers on Instagram. And basically what I want to do is I just want to continue to give you guys multiple tips and strategies and techniques in order to one get more highly engaged followers um, but also get more you know shares more comments more likes all that kind of stuff so ultimately just getting more followers but not just followers because we talk a lot about that there's some apps out there that you can just simply get followers you can pay for followers you can get like some free followers if you go out there and you know apply for like some some offers and stuff like that that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about getting followers but highly engaged followers that actually want to watch your stuff want to you know read your posts they want to see your pictures they want to watch your videos they want to engage in your profile and that's ultimately what it's all about i mean like what is really the point of growing an instagram profile what is the point of getting to ten thousand followers if you don't have highly engaged followers because in my opinion and a lot of our clients opinion at, at our group at our growth agency we are building their instagram profile because we want a specific result from that we want more leads we want more traffic to our websites we want more customers uh we're building a personal brand with all of those things it doesn't matter if you have 10,000 followers that are not engaged that that would serve no purpose whatsoever but if you are a person that's looking to grow your business or grow your personal brand or grow your authority in your marketplace then getting 10,000 followers plus highly engaged followers is really what you're at but that's really what you want to go for okay so here on this video i want to share with you two new strategies that's really going to help you in your endeavors of getting 10,000 followers and beyond and then also of course getting that highly engaged following so that you get a lot of interaction on your posts and therefore you get a lot of fans and you know likely turns into leads customers and just um, more authority in your marketplace okay so the first thing that i want to talk about is fan pages okay oops i don't want to put this hold on one sec take this off okay fan pages all right so we talk a lot about um, on, on previous videos on how we want to run automation on our you know profiles that will go out there and it will go engage in other people's profiles and therefore it'll bring interaction back to your profile because you went out and interacted it'll give them a notification that you went and interacted with their profile then they'll be like, oh, who's this person? They come back to your profile. They'll see you have awesome content. If you need help with content, let me know. Put it down in the comments that you need help with content, and we can definitely figure that out. But they'll come back to your page, and they say, oh, this person has awesome content. It's really engaging. Let me check it out. And then, therefore, you know, you keep on posting new stuff, and then you're going to continue to get more engagement. And you just kind of kind of win people over over the long haul and this is really good especially if you're doing local i recommend that strongly for people to start out because when someone say you're from denver colorado and you, and someone sees you like interact with their post and they say oh this person's from denver colorado there's just there's just a connection right there so that's um one of the big things that you want to do is like target people locally so you can do this with automation or you can simply do it yourself you can go out there and engage in other people's profiles that are in your area or or people that are in your specific niche say you're like in the golf niche so therefore you want to go interact with people that are engaged in other golf profiles you know people that are liking other profiles that have something to do with golf or they're 
or they're commenting on posts that have something to do with golf. And again, the whole thing, and let me just um, actually write this out. This isn't, this isn't really the, the point, but um, content is king. Is king, and this, and which is what will win over your people will win over your people okay so basically what that means is like you're not going to get super highly engaged your followers in an instant like that okay your content is going to eventually win them over so that's the importance of constantly constantly putting up quality content so let me get into this actual first fact here so let me just put a number one here so we know what we're talking about here so fan pages so we talked about automation and how you can do that for your profile but basically what we want to do now is that we want to actually do this automation on fan pages and the key here and this is like i'm actually in an instagram mastermind and this is one of the bigger things that they're teaching and one of the clients that one of the so one of the mentors that i have here he's coaching uh he's been coaching a guy uh, for a while now and he is growing 500 followers a day by using this fan page method so basically again we talk about automation on your regular post on your regular page but now you want to run it on your fan pages okay so you what you want to do is you want to go out and create fan pages so create fan pages pages and direct them back to your profile okay so let's come back over to instagram where are we <laughs> somewhere in here it was all open this up all right let's come over to instagram and i want to show you and i just got started on this technique so it's it's in the beginning stages but i want to show you actually what, what it looks like so here's my profile obviously you know you guys have probably seen that you can come over and check it out it's at nick Rapclis. but what i do want to show you now is the other pages that i have and these are my fan pages okay so you can see nick Rapclis fan page one nick Rapclis fan one nick Rapclis fan page so i'll click on one of these and i'll show you exactly what's working here so look at this i don't even have that many posts i, I just grabbed like you know what is that uh, six 12 12 pictures and i just post them up and they're all about me obviously and basically what you can see in the in the bio is that i have my you know handle that goes and i say all credit goes to at nick Rapquist, official page at nick Rapquist. okay so you can click on that and it goes directly back to my page okay and even on these pictures i just put my you know i'm not getting a ton of engagement and again this is you know i'm just starting out with this but you know i have 211 followers on here because i'm running automation and again if you need help with automation let me know put it down in the comments and um because that's what our that's what our agency is all about we help people with automation and now we're starting to help people with fan page automation as well so um you can start running automation basically what this will go out and do it'll target your your audience but it's you know it's just like one account that's working to attack your audience so then we come to the oops we come to the next one nick Rapclis fan page one and it's the same thing but we're running automation again and all this stuff is going to again direct link back to my profile and then you know it's the same thing for the last one i think it was this one and it's just the same thing like i just put you know this one i actually just recently started this one I don't have as many followers on here but it's, it's starting to grow you can see like people are engaging with this so you build out these fan pages okay and it's always direct linking back to your original profile so that is the first method okay fan pages and run automation to your fan pages okay now now what's the next section okay and this is direct message new followers okay most of my business i want to sorry i'm just kind of a perfectionist on this stuff i'm just gonna say right here most of my business dang it oh well 
most of my business happens in the direct messages, DMs, okay? So the, the key that I want to share here is that, like, like I just said, most of my business, because people ask me, like, why do I not have, I'm going to come back to my profile real quick, is that why don't I have a link in my description? I, you know, I teach people like it's definitely a great place. You can put a, you can put a link, you can put a link, and then it, you know, sends people to your website and stuff like that. So why don't I have a link? Well, it's because most of my business happens in the DM because, basically, I'm always just looking to start a conversation, start a, con, conversation. And honestly, that's kind of what marketing is. That's what marketing is: is starting conversations. Whether that's, you know, starting conversation on your website, whether that's starting an actual direct conversation or what, what have you. And I personally on Instagram like to connect with people and start a conversation in the direct messages. So what I recommend that you do is, again, like I just, this is the whole point, is that message people right when they follow you. Oops, follow you. So you can do this automatic, automatically with our automation or you can just do it yourself. It's not that hard. But I like to send just like a quirky little message like something like dig in your profile, your profile. And then I'll, I like putting emojis in there. Like I'll put like something like that. Dig in your profile. Thanks for... the follow and i'll usually like put like i don't see it right now but there's a good emoji in here that oh there it was footsteps so it's like oops so it's footsteps like you know a person's following someone so it's just like a quirky little message that kind of gets them thinking or something like that or, and then you can also ask a question right there you can put a link in there and that's just a way to start a conversation and then from there you know you just talk about like what do you have to offer them you know and don't get too salesy or pushy on them, but just be a cool person. Let your content really take care of the most part. But once people are like convinced you're a legitimate person, you have really good content, they like your style, then you can start a conversation and just be like, hey, you're cool. And then a lot of times, honestly, people are just asking me like, how do you do this? Like, what's this all about? And all this kind of stuff. And then, you know, it just goes up from there. I've done so much business in the direct message and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I, I don't hold anything back. Like. Um, these are some of my engagement groups, but um, let me see. Just been replying to a lot of people lately, but here I'll show you like this one. See, like right after they followed me, I said, dig in your profile. Thanks for the follow. And this person didn't reply right away, but eventually he replied to one of my stories and said, you know, it was fire. And I said, thanks, you know, and then let's see, let's see if I can come down. Um... These are a lot of my friends that have been messaging me lately. But let's see this guy. Um, hey, Brian. Uh, oh, he just messaged me like on uh, one of my questions. So he was asking about, you know, how to do how to get some business done for his video because I do a lot of video as well. And he was asking me, um, I forget, I think he commented or, or something. He responded to something and he was asking how much it would cost for a video shoot. So I said two hundred dollars and he said, all right, I can do that. So I got a client just from direct messaging there. So I sent him a message after he re re replied to something. Um, I was trying to find where this was. Um, this this kind of gets jumbled up in here sometimes. Anyways, um, <laughs> I think this one was a, probably a good one. I don't know. It's hard to say because there's so many different conversations I have in here. But ultimately, I'm just trying to start a conversation. See, like this is where he said, Th thanks, man. Same to you and appreciate it. So we just started on a good conversation and then, you know, we go from there. And then, you know, again, the content is always going to win people over. OK, so again, how to get 10,000 Instagram followers. I This is really kind of a series and a playlist that I'm going to start putting together.